Uh, Mr. Taylor, you had a question. Richard, do you want to ask it yourself? Yeah. Um, yes, you do. Thank you. Um, so I'm a regular user of the path um, on Stourbridge Common and onto um, Riverside. And I was very surprised when I came to your last meeting to hear about um, the council's proposals for the area from a member of the public. And I would have thought that proposals for an area like that, or any um, a public area, public highway, bit of the public realm, um, I'd expect them to be as a substantive item on the agenda. I'd expect perhaps signs to be up in the area and with notices to say, that there are plans to change things and I would expect things, to, detailed plans to be um, on council's websites. Um, none of that, that, that has happened. We, the only way that um, the plans for that area have come to light is by a member of the public speaking at the, the last meeting, Mr Eber. Um, so what I'd like to, to, to encourage today is in, to encourage some properly publicised public consultation on whatever those proposals are. I was very concerned um, listening to the last meeting to hear that the proposals are only um, both in the initial stage that Mr Eva spoke about last time and the next stage are only to consult immediately local um, residents rather than the wider public. So I'd encourage a consultation as soon as possible with the wider public. You're not actually reaching all the local residents. I spoke to an immediately local resident earlier today who said he wasn't aware of, um, of, of the proposals. I'd also um, like to ask um, about the, the view which um, Councillor Whitehead expressed at the last meeting. Um, and um, I also spoke to her... Um, in a break in the meeting, and the question that I put to her is how has she come to the view that the interests of a small number of residents who want um, parking spaces are um, more important than the interests of the wider city and um, the wider population when it comes to what we do with that, 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 that area of Riverside. So the question that I would like Councillor Whitehead to answer is, is how has she come to that, that balanced view which puts the views of six um, residents or so who want a parking space over thousands who um, walk and cycle through the area and of the city and country as a whole. Before Councillor Whitehead comes in, um, if you read the minutes there is a clear answer from <coughs> Councillor Whitehead at that meeting which is reported in the minutes and recorded in the minutes and she may wish to uh, reiterate that point. In terms of consultations, clearly there is the immediate statutory consultation uh, um, protocol where anybody within the uh, the immediate area is formally consulted by, by letter, but clearly anybody who is aware of the proposal, and yes, you, uh, you have a point about how they become aware of it, but that is where site notices and, uh, and visual notices for people who traverse that uh, route comes into, the, into play. They clearly have the right then uh, to make their views known, whether they were formally consulted by letter or not, and, and Cambridge being Cambridge, people across the city comment on all sorts of applications, whether it be traffic, planning or otherwise, when they live, you know, the other side, completely to where that application may occur. Uh, I'll just make that point. Uh, Councillor Whitehead, do you want to come back with any What is the response? proposal? Can someone say? Uh, it isn't. <coughs> uh, well, Richard and uh, Peter and I are involved in discussions about the improvement of the Stourbridge Common End of Riverside. And there are, at the moment, uh, some ideas which are being uh, formulated to produce a formal consultation document. But we are not quite at that stage yet. Once we are at that stage, then it will go out to all uh, people and there will be notices everywhere about consult consulting about it. But we are still in process. Uh, as regards the, um, the right of, of people who live on that end of Riverside to park their cars, I said quite clearly that the council has to take into account the needs of <coughs> residents who may want to park their car, the needs of cyclists and the needs of pedestrians, and that we were weighing all of those things up together and we do not favour one group over the other. We are trying to come up with a solution, and this is why it's taken so long, um, that would be acceptable to all those people. Whether we will achieve that or not, I don't know, but that is what we are aiming to do. I do not um, support the rights of any one group over the other, and neither do I think either of my colleagues. We are trying to come up with a solution uh, to what is uh, a very, very difficult problem. Thank you. Uh, right, can we move on to Mr Brigham?